I just had chills. <laughs> it's not in the book, but I'm here for it. We're gonna be reacting to Dune part two, trailer number three. As a filmmaker and a video editor, I am beyond stoked for this movie. I watched part one in theaters multiple times. I am a 3D artist, been doing that for a couple years professionally now, and I have a newfound hobby of cinematography, and Dune definitely falls in that category. So let's get started. Since you've had one of those nightmares, tell me, what was it about? It's only me. Dude, already the sound design is insane. <laughs> you were saying something right before this that the VFX shot changed on that initial, yeah, on, on this initial explosion, explosion right here. Since, since trailer number one and two, we've got a different explosion here. You might notice that with a couple of different visual effects, and in the first trailer, they didn't even have blue eyes in all of the scenes. Why do you think that is? Just VFX artists not having it's time? Just, it's just the uh, progression of the work. It wasn't done yet. It's only fragments. Yo. That cut, that riser, we're like 20 seconds in and they just, shh, they got me hooked. I'm <laughs> stoked. Also just like the armies clashing, this looks wild. And I love seeing like Zendaya's yeah. character. Well, given that everybody thought she was gonna be in the first one, she was in like the last I know, I was like, I need more Zendaya. I, I wasn't upset by it. I feel like some people were. I did not honestly notice until the end. I was like, oh yeah. I was upset. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's clear. You've been fighting the Harkonnens for decades. Oh. My family. So that explosion shot, obviously some of the, some of his practical, some of his VFX, like how hard is this one? These ones are especially difficult. In the previous trailer number two, we get a little bit more detail of this shot where we see it exploding inside the shield and then expanding. And their color grading of the fire is also amazing. Just really well done highlights, it's not blown out. I mean, the whole color grading of Dune in general is just insane. It's very stylized. The DP of this, movie is one of my favorites. He does Greg basically Frazier. all my favorite, <laughs> all my favorite movies. And so my family's been fighting them for centuries. Your blood comes from Dukes and great houses. No way. That's sick. I love that shot right there. Dude, what the, the, <laughs> the costumes for this are insane. I want to know like why the decision that they have like almost nothing else visible in the frame. Yeah, it's like, completely the black. Is completely focused on her. Which I love. Yeah. It, I love it that. gives for an iconic center shot. Again, Rebecca Ferguson, one of my <laughs> favorite actresses. Like this, it's just, the whole <laughs> trailer is just <laughs> stacked. Here, we're equal. What the heck? Letting in this is the like siege. In situations like this, this is still obviously not achievable with any amount of actors unless you had <laughs> hundreds of thousands. <laughs> yeah. I, I am curious. Like, it does look like the majority of these people are all real, which is awesome. Yeah, at least the middle portion would Honestly, be. Honestly, everything that Denis does is usually based in practical effects. Yeah, that's why a lot of his work is feels so grounded, yeah. is because it starts practically and then the VFX is added onto that. What we do, we do for the benefit of all. This music is different from the first two trailers. First I, two I was agree. very much from part one, kind of yeah. that reminiscent nostalgia, and now we've got this new song, and I'm I'm loving it. It feels a little bit more triumphant. Yeah. Whereas the other two trailers, I feel like they were kind of like eminent. Yeah. Like the Baron is approaching. I'd like to be equal to you. Maybe I'll show you the way. It's not in the book, but I'm here for it. Yeah. <laughs> Filmmakers got to make their, their slight Zendaya changes. On the got to make some changes to make the story flow correctly yeah. in a visual format. Yes. A lot of people get all worked up with like, book is not the same as the movie, but I'm like, they're two different mediums. It's not supposed to. You can't tell it the same way. Yeah, and that's so. why you have the book. You could draw the book and then watch exactly. the movie for the movie. Read the book though. <laughs> Do it. He hasn't. I have it. I need to. Comment if he needs to read. Maybe I should. <laughs> yeah, maybe if this gets a thousand likes, I'll actually go read the books. Deal with this. I just had chills. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like every single one of these trailers has just been incredible. And this, just like that whole first minute, we're only halfway through, or even less than halfway through. And I'm just yeah. already beyond stoked for this. Perfect. Send assassins. Fade Rotha. He's psychotic. Oh, he's gonna be brutal. He just did he just slash her 
her throat. Yeah, Ugh. if you watch it on 0.25 speed, which I, don't I think, totally did earlier. I don't think I want to watch it on 0.25 <laughs> speed. <laughs> there, there is some trickle down from there. Uh, but, uh, well, that's he's definitely a, a, a Between Federatha and some of the other things that go on with the Fremen, they most definitely could have made this a rated R film. But Probably. I appreciate I'm glad they did willingness it. to make it PG-13. A little more accessible for the general audience. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sometimes that's necessary, but... And honestly, I think it's better because Frank Herbert's writing style was not explicit. Like, no. even in the scenes that they could have made rated R in this movie, they were not described in such a detail that felt rated R. Yeah. And so I, I really like, and I feel like PG-13 is true to the nature of the book, even though the topics are serious. I see possible futures all at once. And in so many futures, our enemies prevail. I do see a way. There is a narrow way. So good. Which one? This one? Just, I love this shot, given the uh, just the reflections across all of their helmets. Yeah. I'm, I'm really curious how much of this kind of shot was actually shot outside. Outside? I, I think most of it was. And being able to control all of that, they must have had some serious negative fill or something. But Narrow way through. I love that we see these guys on the back of the We see all room. these Fremen. Yeah, yeah. Look, they're just like all on top of that. Holy cow. You can, yeah. it's like one guy and then it just becomes multiple <laughs> hundreds of people and they're facing an army and they're just scattering. Three. Yeah. I didn't, I did not <laughs> expect to see three. All synced up in line. All. all right. You almost just assume that there's one throughout everything. And now you realize, oh, well, duh, there's more, yeah. but. This to you. Do you believe me? This is a form of power that our world has not yet seen. The it's kind of like that earlier scene that we saw. This, I feel like this is somehow connected to that previous scene. Yeah, she's like dressed in the similar yeah. outfit. That our world has not yet seen. The ultimate power. That shot right there where we get the little extra plume from the explosion, like we see it impact and we see it expanding, but then it kind of like has an extra like folding out. Extra, like it's like breathing almost. Yes, and that was very effective. And I felt like that was such a cool detail that didn't have to be added. And maybe it was just a chance of the simulation that they ran out of like the 300 different versions they did. Yeah. But that looked really good. I want you to know I will love you as long as I breathe. Lose me as long as you stay who you are. Consider what you're about to do, Paul Atreides. Silence! <laughs> That's insane. He's mastered the voice. <laughs> well, you see in the first movie, like his progression of like he can barely get his his mom to move a cup half across the table, and now he's facing like the ultimate Bene Gesserit mother, and he's mastered the voice. He's coming into his power. Yeah. He's realizing how how much influence he has and he's using it and she's obviously taken aback physically and emotionally you can see like her whole countenance change that's powerful shot just him yeah. you know having his chris knife. chris knife yeah just raising that and like having all the fremen do that too prophecy is how they enslave us Shoot. Dude, that was insane. That whole trailer, I've watched all the trailers. I've seen the first movie many, many times and I've like, the second tickets go on sale. I wanna go multiple times in theaters in IMAX just because I feel like that's, oh, yeah. this, this movie kind of demands that. If you guys like this, we may do a full movie breakdown and reaction, talk about some of our favorite scenes. If you guys wanna see more of that, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.